Greetings, my saplings. All right, so in today's video, like I mentioned before, we are going to be encompassing just some quick tips for copying all these upcoming shoes, meaning like all the updated stores getting them, all the updated raffles getting them, because like I said in my how to cop guides, stuff is gonna change, nothing stays consistent, and evidently you will see in this video that a lot of stuff has changed, and it still will change, but don't worry. I'm gonna make a live stream on the 13th going into the 14th for the Yeezy 500 drop. Now, obviously in between, there's gonna be other drops for all four of these shoes. The four shoes we're gonna be talking about are going to be the Off-White Vapor Maxes, the Shadow Jordan 1s, the Yeezy 500 Blushes, and finally also the Undefeated Ultra Boost. And of course, aside from like tips for copying them, I'm just briefly gonna give you some updates on some resale predictions after some stock numbers were leaked. Now, just a quick disclaimer. We're gonna get more raffles that come in. I just need to put this video out quick enough so I could edit it in time for you guys to join the raffles before they expire. However, if you go on my Twitter, KeithAdam10, uh, I'd say by tomorrow or two days from now, I'll post all the links of the finalized raffles, all the ones you guys could join, and obviously we are going to be mentioning in this video how you can get multiple entries without the algorithm catching it. And of course, if you have any questions on that live stream, just make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss it. It will be starting the night of the 13th going to the 14th. All right, so let's get started with the off-white Vapor Maxes because let's be honest, that's what the majority of you guys care about. These are gonna be the hardest shoes to get out of the bunch. So unfortunately, there are no raffles as of now, as of me making this video. However, of course, if some raffles pop up, I'm gonna drop the links on my Twitter. I'm expecting that End Clothing will get them, Sneakers and Stuff will get them, and Slam Jam Socialism. Now, we're gonna be talking about these same raffles a little later, so let me just get this out of the way. When it comes to every single raffle, if you wanna get multiple entries, here's what I suggest. First of all, let's talk about the email address. What I normally used to do was add a plus one or a plus two at the end of my email address right before the at gmail.com, as you can see in the example here. However, there are some raffles that do somehow catch on to this, so I've only been using this for certain raffles. For instance, it still works for end clothing and it still works for socialism, but for any other raffle, I would suggest if you have multiple email accounts, definitely use those email accounts in addition to using Using this tip. Now when it comes to your phone number, don't worry about the phone number guys. You could literally put in any random phone number. I would of course make it a area code that is located in the country in which you are entering. But honestly, there is no verification through phone number so you don't need to worry about that. It's just an extra layer of security for them I guess so they don't get duplicate entries. But obviously, yeah, you could put a random number there. You will get all confirmations, and if you want or lost through your email address, it has nothing to do with your phone number. Then if they ever ask you to put in your address, you're saying, oh, shucks, they, they got me here. Don't worry, they didn't get you here. You know why? All you have to do is change the last word in your address. You're saying, well, what do you mean by that, Keith? Well, I've mentioned this in previous videos, so shout out to all my subscribers who already know if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe. But if you have, say, the last word is street, you could spell street incorrectly and the algorithm won't pick it up. However, when they're shipping it to you, obviously they're gonna know the correct spelling of street. So you could spell it ST dot, like abbreviate it, or just ST with no dot. You could do S-T-R-E-T-E. -E. You guys get the gist of it, but no, you cannot just change up caps. It has to be different characters. And then finally, if they ever ask you for payment method, this is kind of where they get you. The only way you can make tons of entries with the same payment method, if you make different PayPals and you connect the same credit card to each of those PayPals, that would be the only way of doing it. Otherwise, if you don't feel like going through that because it, it takes a decent amount of time to make a PayPal in comparison to just making an email. So if you don't wanna worry about that, obviously, maybe you can ask your wife to use her credit cards, maybe you ask your parents to use their credit cards, whatever floats your boat, but obviously it has to be a new payment method each time if they ask. For instance, for the end clothing raffle, they are going to ask you for payment method and you are gonna to have to use a different one each time. Now, when it comes to SNS, I feel like I needed to mention this. Do not attempt to make multiple entries. So I would highly advocate just using one entry per home address for SNS. And then of course, uh, for Slam Jam Socialism, that one is my favorite because I think they only ask you for like a phone number and an email address and your name, which for your name, by the way, feel free to change it up. I don't think it matters, especially if you have a common name like Dan Smith. 
I mean, they're not going to take you out of a raffle just because you have the same name as someone. There's obviously tons of people with the same name, but if you want to play it safe, maybe you spell your name incorrectly. Maybe put a random name because it honestly doesn't matter. All right, so I felt like I just needed to get that out of the way so you guys know how to make multiple entries into raffles that I'm going to be mentioning. But now moving on to first come first serves for the off-white Vapor Maxes. First thing I wanted to mention is the number one chance that you're going to be able to get the Vapor Maxes. It's going to be at 3 a.m. Eastern Time, and yes, it is going to be Soulbox, guys. You guys know I love Soulbox because you can use the multiple people jig on Soulbox considering it is a queue. This queue is a randomized process, and, and they also track your cookies on here so you won't get IP banned. So feel free to check out this video if you don't know what the multiple people jig is. It essentially just teaches you how to do it on Adidas.com, and I'm sure. I'm sure my subscribers are sick of hearing the words multiple people jig, but obviously if you're new, this is what you gotta do. I'm just trying to keep the noobs informed, have some sympathy for all you old timers, for all you professionals, just, you know, give them a chance. So aside from Soulbox, I wanted to mention that first because that's going to be your best chance. We have the Holy Pop Store releasing at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. However, it's going to be releasing on the 13th. This is the day before the 14th. As far as I know, it's just a simple first come first serve. And before I mention any other first come first serves for any other shoe, let's just briefly go over what tips I usually recommend. First of all, guys, what do we do? Let's do the Dora theme thing. What do we do? That's right. We use Command R on Mac and F5 on Windows to refresh. So we don't have to use that little refresher thing over there because the reason we do this is we want to keep our mouse hovering over the size selection just because every second really does count. Oh wait, 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 wait guys, What? what's the other tip? That's right, use autofill guys. You guys, you guys already know what you're doing. You guys are legends at this point. Now moving on to another first come first serve, uh, it is going to be Luisa via Roma, I believe it's called, and it will be releasing on April 16th, which is actually two days after the release, and it's gonna be at 7 a.m. Eastern time. Unfortunately, not only do you have to be a member here, but you also have to have acquired 2,000 points. You get these by buying certain shoes from their site, which I think is a great marketing tactic. However, it's a little unfair for the rest of us, but you know, if that's what they do, low stock, that's what they gotta do. Now, for two other first come first serves, I don't know the times as of now, but it is confirmed that DSM New York will be getting them. I'm, just, I'm assuming it will be 8 a.m. Eastern Time or 11 a.m. Eastern Time, but you know, when we do that live stream, I'll have it figured out by then. Also, Naked, I have no idea what time they'll be doing it at. Um, I'm, I'm assuming maybe 3 a.m. Eastern Time for Naked, but I'm not sure because they usually do raffles. And of course, if you were wondering about resale for them, obviously, guys, yes, there's going to be a ton of resale. I think that resale should be very reminiscent of what the black ones just went for. Now, moving on to the Yeezy 500s, I actually wanted to start off by talking about resale, and it's really not good. So I initially predicted that resale might hover around like 300 to 350. This I have to change. I have to be very clear when I say this. I don't think that they're gonna go for much at all right now. And Yeezy Mafia made a tweet regarding this also. Right now, resale is sitting at $350 to $400. And you have to keep in mind that there are barely any pairs in circulation. Sure, people might be freaking out, but you still have to keep in mind that there are like no pairs in circulation. And the price is already this low. Pre-orders didn't even ship yet. They're shipping on the 14th. Then we got another boatload of pairs that are shipping out from adidas.com. Easy supply and there's a ton of other retailers that I'm not even gonna talk about because I'll, I'll show you guys how to get them It's just gonna be super easy But yeah, it, I am thinking that resale could dip down under $300 to be honest. Yes, absolutely I know that these shoes are gonna sell out. I'm very confident that they will so if you like them don't sleep on them But if you want to buy these for resale, I think you can make some profit I just don't think it's gonna be a lot, you know, especially after seller fees on StockX or GOAT or maybe even shipping if you're selling through PayPal. So like I said, I didn't really want to mention all the other retailers that are going to be getting them. The only two stores you should be worrying about is going to be YeezySupply.com. They release at a random time. If you're confused on what to do on YeezySupply.com, feel free to watch this video where I teach you guys the bypass jig and this LTE jig that I kind of came up with. Feel free to check it out for that so you can cop on Yeezy Supply every single time. Then aside from that, at around 10 a.m. Eastern time, we have the adidas.com release. And again, guys, on adidas.com, what do you do? That's right, you do the multiple people jig. And again, if you're confused, check out this video right here. 
Now, moving on from the Easy 500s, let's start talking about the undefeated Ultra Boost. Unfortunately, we can't talk about the white undefeated Ultra Boost. Like I mentioned in my How to Cop Guide, they are only going to be available through undefeated. That is it. However, for the black pair, they are now on Adidas.com. So I'm not sure as of now if it's going to be a first come first serve or if it's going to be a waiting room release because recently with all limited shoes on Adidas.com, they've been using a waiting room. So you might be wondering, Keith, how do we find out? Well, first of all, if you join my live stream, turn on post notifications for that. If you join my live stream, I'll obviously simply tell you. But if you are if you can't make the live stream, all you got to do is right click on the product page for these black undefeated Ultra Boost. Then after you right click or on Mac, I believe it's a two tap with two fingers. Then you go to view page source and this has to be on Google Chrome, by the way. Then you go press command F. This will give you a little search bar. You could type in waiting or waiting room product, whatever floats your boat. And if it says true, that means it is a waiting room product. If it says false, that means it's not. Now don't go based off this if it's a day before or so. This is only 100% accurate at around like 20 minutes before the release or 30 minutes before the release, sometimes even like 40 minutes before the release. But still, the closer you get to the release, the more accurate it is. Usually it'll just say false before that. Now aside from the adidas.com release, which would be at 10 a.m. Eastern of course, also at 10 a.m. Eastern time, we have the Shop Nice Kicks release. And I also know that some of you guys wanted to know like, hey, are there any places to camp out? So like I promised you, I would find you some. So the one that is definitely going to have a first come first serve is going to be Alike. So if you're interested in camping out, definitely go check out all the locations for Alike. And some ones that might go down are Overkill and a few store, but they're not yet confirmed. Then we have some other first come first serves for online releases. Unfortunately, it's not on the 14th. It's gonna be the, on the 13th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So first of all, we have 43 in Hob, the Goodwill out, and Superstore, and then the Suede Store. And all of these will be first come first serve, but luckily, we have another one. Which one is this, my friends? It is going to be the Soul Box release, meaning that it is gonna be a Q and we can use the multiple people jig, so good luck there. Do I think there will be resale on these? Absolutely, I do think there will be. However, I don't think it's gonna be a notable amount. I think that maybe it'll hover around like 300, probably a little bit less, I'm thinking that with the high retail price, uh, you could still make some profit after fees. It's not going to be anything crazy, though. The only thing that's going to be crazy this week is going to be those off-white Vapor Maxes. But honestly, guys, for all these shoes, they're just going to be personal cops for me. But you do what you want. Then I also managed to find some raffles for these. So some raffles, of course, would be end clothing sneakers and stuff and foot district and if we get any more i am going to be making a tweet about that with all their links all right so moving on from the undefeated ultra boost let's talk about the shadow jordan one so first of all at 10 a.m eastern time we don't just have foot locker and foot actions getting them we also have champs in east bay getting them so all four of these stores do the same thing where you simply cannot add to cart no matter how fast you are, so all you gotta do, and this could take up to 20 minutes. I actually didn't believe it was possible until I saw Damn D do it. He managed to get um he managed to get a shoe from East Bay after 20 minutes of clicking. So all I would recommend to you guys, if you want to cop off of here, just keep spamming that add to cart button and just don't give up. Also at 10 a.m. Eastern time, we have the Finish Line app releasing them, so feel free to download that if you have some extra room on your phone. Then Kicks USA will be doing a queue at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Then also some other first come first serve releases at 10 a.m. Eastern time are going to be RU Villa, DTLR, Shoe Palace, Shop Nice Kicks, Chic, Jimmy Jazz, and of course, Nike sneakers. Now for Nike sneakers, like I recommended in my time management video, if you haven't watched that, I highly recommend checking it out. I walk you through all the drop times and like how you should manage your time if you plan on staying up for every single drop. But I recommended that you use the app and if you were wondering why, it's simply because I want you to have your computer ready for all these other drops because at 10 a.m. Eastern time, it's gonna be hectic with everything. So you want your phone to be on Nike sneakers. You don't wanna have to worry about it on your computer. Also, it will be a first come first serve on here. So make sure go you go into your settings. You have your size already selected. You have your address filled in and your payment already set up. If you have the ability to use Apple Pay, definitely do that too. It will save you some time, but those are just some quick tips for Nike sneakers. And hopefully you guys signed up for all the foot apps and everything like that. Hopefully you guys did the Adidas confirmed release signups like I mentioned in my previous videos. But if you missed that, just for future references guys, 
feel free to turn on post notifications. And finally, some worldwide retailers. The only ones I was able to find as of now is going to be a few store and tint. This is going to be at 3 a.m. Eastern time. And then some raffles for these will be end clothing, sneakers and stuff, and foot district. And we already mentioned before how to get multiple entries into these. And of course, Nike Sneakers Europe will be dropping these at 3 a.m. Eastern time. Same tips apply. Do I think these will resell? Yes, I do. I don't think that it will be as high as the bread toes, even though they have the same stock and they're an OG colorway. I just think that there's more demand for a white, red, and black Jordan 1. But I still think that these will have some. I think it'll be more than the Game Royals, but I still think it's going to be less than the bread toes. So honestly, it's not going to be anything crazy, but these are definitely just going to be a personal cop for me. And maybe I'll hook up a couple of friends just because the quality on these is just absolutely insane. And I can't wait to do a review on that. So make sure you subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications so you don't miss that review. So you don't miss any updates on other hyped releases. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed it or if you perhaps learned something. Make sure you stop by that live stream on the 13th to 14th. And with that, good luck. Have a great day, and I'm out of here. Ah, this is for you. Now I can't run, and I can't walk. You hit me so hard, I don't want to talk. Get your foot off my foot. Ah, this is for you. Why are you always in my way, knocking me over every single day? Get your foot off my foot. Ah.